This is made of foam, but it actually kind of resembles gravel in a way. I really like that mixture of textures and how your perception of them is challenged. And I, do, I just want to go up and bury myself in it. These are the speakers that the tinnitus. Oh. Yeah, it's definitely, oh, it's definitely tinnitus. <laughs> that boy right here. It's kind of like a horrible good night. <laughs> And over here you can see the sweet spot near the blue foam. I love this texture of the ceiling, the exposed wall, the concrete floor. It's clicking as well, it's really interesting coming from this speaker right here. It's kind of ry rhythmical, but I love the randomness of it. Speakers here with the nice drawings, so there's lots of nice different textures and rhythms going on, but they kind of play with each other and they're always um, evolving. Like when you walk around the room, you can hear different frequencies. So I've got Krisha here, uh, she's an amazing uh, sound installation artist that I'm really excited to see. I just had a look around your work and yeah, really loved it, really inspired. I'm using, I'm really interested in the relationship between sound and material. I've been trying to use that, use that relationship to explore ideas of noise and silence oh, and then yeah. where these two things might like meet and overlap. Yeah. Silence, for example, that can be a really noisy place yeah. psychologically, do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And then there's other things in noise being something that can cover up truths. And the, the, the relationship in music and sound between silence and noise, I mean it's so, so important to, yeah. to really respect silence yeah. in sound and music. You have those big uh, blue foam boards, so it kind of like blocks out the yeah. the, the high-pitched kind of tinnitus. Yeah, yeah, so there's a sweet spot yeah. like in these, within these, um, and yeah, it's like a sanctuary um, almost. Um, but these are like, I see these things as headstones almost, almost, but you know, slightly more abstract. For me, that's really about like loss and my first, like, well, the biggest experience I've ever felt to something being a silence was um, when I lost my mum. Like that for me, that was just like, that was silence, like yeah. in an instant, but then it was noise at the same time. And like this kind of, we think relating like that kind of experience to how, yeah, how I experience things sonically was just like, I couldn't ignore it. So yeah. that's kind of how these pieces came into the work as well. Yeah. It's, it's amazing that you've been able to kind of channel that experience into, into this and you, you can tell it's a very like, Immersive piece, definitely. Yeah. Okay, so there's a big pile of um, a big pile of acoustic foam pyramids, and um, so they they go on music studio walls. Yeah. Um, so I've taken lots of these tiles and cut them into the individual individual pieces, and they're piled together in the room. Thousands of these things. Um, I kind of see that as like a sonic graveyard, you know, like yeah. these pieces have like been absorbing sound over like yeah. all this time, and it's like we can't get that sound back. Yeah. Like, it's almost like they're encased yeah. in these forms, and um, they went together in that kind of pile of rubble, you might call it. Yeah. Um, and yeah. they kind of, I know, I feel like they've got a really, um, yeah, yeah, like morbid, like a morbid kind of like destruction. It's gone. Yeah, I really like that, that idea of like. Of the phone having a memory of sound, even though it's an inanimate yeah. object, of the, yeah. if it's storing the experiences of all the sound that it's kind of yeah. been been passed through. I think that's really interesting. And, and also, when um, uh, you know, cymatic frequencies, I really like this kind of like yeah. connection with the uh, like visual and and, and sonic uh, yeah. relationship. When and it's like you were saying with the phone, it's under the surface. Like mm -hmm. you know, we, we we didn't know about this uh, these kind of like connections a while yeah. ago, but. As soon as you see it's like, oh my god, and I wonder what we'll discover with, with matter, like holding some kind of energy from sound. I mean, yeah. maybe we'll discover something. I know, that's great. Yeah, it's exciting, yeah. isn't it? We'll find it, please. Yeah, we'll, yeah, find, we'll it. find it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>